This is Scott Jarrett. He is an author. He wrote a book about the 10 cent beer night. It was 50 years ago tomorrow. So, of course, you're going to write a book. Uh, Scott, you are a Tiffin native, yes. now living in Texas. So, you grew up an Indians fan. Why'd you write a book on this? I think uh, Cleveland, like a lot of things, a lot of uh, uh, moments in Cleveland history has gotten kind of a bad rap about uh, 10 cent beer night. And I always thought it was kind of an interesting story. And no one had done kind of a full treatise of it. And uh, I think um, the more I looked into it, it seemed like there are a lot of rabbit holes to go down okay. in the story. So what's something maybe you think you found out that other people don't know about this. Whoa, 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 hold on. Let's not blast the club so much here. Yeah, I think uh, one thing right away was was just that a lot of teams were having 10 cent beer nights, a lot of crazy promotions in the early 70s, and it uh, was part of the Indians actually had 37 promotional events planned for 1974. They had the great Walenda walking on a tightrope across Municipal Stadium. They had uh, uh, the Hugo Zucchini blasting out of a cannon. Uh, they had four 10 cent beer nights planned. Uh, so it was part of this whole array of promotional events because the Indians were really in danger of leaving Cleveland. And, and that, I think, is, is part of the story and the context is that they were possibly going to leave. And so the, the front office, who is this sort of uh, hardy but inspired uh, crew, was really just trying to save baseball in Cleveland. Uh, so 10 cent beer night, this was the first one uh, of the four, um, was just part of this uh, array of events, uh, you know, ho which would hopefully save baseball and, and improve attendance in Cleveland. Uh, the year before, they had had about 600 and some thousand for season attendance, and their goal for 74 was a million. Uh, and unfortunately, it just kind of all went wrong, though, on uh -huh. June 4th, 1974. Well, they did it like a month later, and they limited right. it to two beers. Yeah. Did other clubs, I guess, did other yeah. clubs limit it to two beers? It was like, it, yeah. it, they just needed this one tweak. That's right. And it was before yeah. they tweaked it That's that right. everyone just got drunk and blitz the game. Yeah. A lot of this stuff, my understanding is it's the people running the field, stuff like that, started out as kind of good natured and funny. Yes. And then it was later in the game, yeah. all of a sudden things got real bad, right? Yeah, and I think that there was a sense that it was just sort of uh, growing confidence by the people running on the field. They, uh, they could see that they could do it, and it just sort of snowballed and uh, even in the in the sort of uh, level of uh, you know streaking was was very popular in 1974 uh, so first you had you know someone a woman who flashed her breasts but then eventually you had someone who was streaking completely naked and yeah. the most famous was uh, a guy who left uh, one sock on and uh, uh, I've so seen that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the Indians were trailing five to one, and they nearly came back and won it in the ninth. Yes. Had they just gone three and out in the ninth? They might have actually completed this game, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it may have no interest whatsoever, but they tied the game, and the fans were at a you know were going nuts. They rally, uh, and then drunk people screwed it all up. <laughs> uh, uh, the, one of the crazy things for me is that Mike Hargrove played in this game as a member of the Rangers and obviously went on to have some yes. big days here in Cleveland. Yeah. That's just one of those quirky things about baseball, you know what I mean? Yeah, totally, totally. Um, it started funny. It ended up as a real bad night in Cleveland history. I remember people were throwing smoke bombs in yep. the Rangers dugout. And uh, 50 years ago, Tuesday, here's the book, 10 Cent Beer Night, available now, right? Amazon and all your book outlets? Yes, and bookbaby.com. Uh, all right. Yep. It is, uh, uh, raise your stein and get in line. Scott Jarrett, thanks for coming by, <laughs> Thank man. Thank you. I really appreciate, appreciate it. it.